Hello all my little dark fiends out there. It's I, Dark Eliza, and I am bringing you another fun video. So today I am actually using oil paints, which are quite fun, and I wanted to draw out Jon Snow, but I am going to do a very different method than I've done, um, that I haven't done for any other video, and that is using the gridding method. So this is actually a pretty easy method that anyone can do, and this is um, something that actually really got me into art. It really helps break down shapes and makes it easier um, for like the analytical part of your mind to understand what you're drawing. So anyways, what you'll need to um, perform this method is simply a ruler, a pencil, um, a picture of what you're drawing, and then obviously you'll need like a canvas or whatever medium to um, put that on. Anyways, um, so what I did was I painted this canvas uh, dark blue and I let it dry after I went back over it and I just gridded over it. So I printed out a picture of Jon Snow, but then on top of that, I gridded the canvas with a white coal erase prisma color and then I did the same thing with Jon Snow's picture and you'll notice they're the same inches and I mean you can you can do this on like a bigger scale if you want you just have to calculate appropriately for like if like instead of like say you're doing like a, a twice as big painting instead of making one inch squares, you're gonna wanna make two inch squares. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. But anyways, after you've gridded it, what I like to do is on the sides, you'll notice I put, on one side I put numbers, and then on the other I put like alphabet letters so that it was easier to kind of grid and figure out where certain shapes were. And then from there, I just took the picture and I would fold it down sometimes and just kind of figure out the shapes. Some people say this might be cheating. For me, I think this is a great exercise to understand um, a painting uh, better or just understand shapes better. And especially if you're like having a really bad hang up with like drawing portraits and whatnot, I, I feel like this is a great exercise to kind of get your mind thinking in a, a more more creative way um, so anyways I get the I get the picture all drawn out and then from there after I've gotten it all drawn out now I can start laying out my paint so I actually mixed up a lot more skin tone and, and um, other tones more than I probably needed for this painting so I had a lot of extra when I was done but it's better more than less and then having to remix that. So this method that I used for the oil painting, I actually learned from uh, Robin Klontz and she's actually on YouTube. She's a really great YouTuber that works with oil paints and she's actually the one that inspired me to draw this and um, not so much with the gridding, um, but with the with the painting and how she mixes and what I mean by that is she'll take a palette knife and she'll just kind of look at the picture but then like she'll take the palette knife and compare it compare the color that's on the palette knife to what is on the picture and that's how she matches her colors which is something I never knew before and it honestly blew my mind and also you'll notice that I'm laying out just kind of an idea of like colors on the area. Like I'm not so much concerned about getting it perfect. I'm just kind of blocking in an idea of like that color in the area and mostly just trying to fill up my canvas. And then later on, I'm going to work on like detailing and, and getting it a lot better. And this, this method's actually really helped me out because I have a tendency to just get stuck or, or really work on details before like I finish like some major parts in a piece. 
and I highly recommend um, I highly recommend working in this way of just like blocking out stuff and like another thing too like I noticed when I drew um, the grid method for painting in Jon Snow's eyes I really messed up the eyes so I had to uh, correct and that's one thing you will run into still I mean even if you're using the grid method you still have to analyze and just make sure that you're representing that picture as best you can and I mean overall I think it, it turned out well I, I will say at the end I, I feel like his eyes could have or not his eyes but his nose could have been better but for like a first time using the grid method for this I think it turned out rather decent and another thing is I don't know how well the coal erase works with oil painting so I'm not saying like if you decide to do this maybe just be careful because um, I don't know if it makes it so that it doesn't stick to the canvas but mostly it was just me playing around so we'll see how that goes but anyways thank you so much for joining and I just wanted to give um, you guys a heads up. I am having a draw your draw your OC um, event, and that was in my previous video. All the details are there, and all the details are in the video. It's pretty much um, you just have to be be subscribed to my Instagram, be subscribed to my YouTube, and just follow the directions. You're gonna want to use the hashtag Dark Eliza Draws OCs. And if you do that, so far I haven't had a lot of people requesting, so pretty much if you put your stuff up on that hashtag, you're so far guaranteed to have your OC drawn, which is pretty exciting. So thank you so much for joining me. It's just another day at Dark Eliza Draws. Hope you guys have a great weekday, and bye bye